Welcome to clickmyproject.com Now we discuss about hybrid power system with a 2 input power converter. The hybrid system is used to connect the two type of power source for maintaining a power quality in power grid. In our proposed system, we use two types of power source like PV cell and the grid AC source. The PV cell generates the DC output and same time the grid to the AC source. The AC output converted to the DC source by help of rectifier and use the converter it converts into the AC current after hybrid of PV and grid. In this process we will interconnect the both grid and PV system. The PV cell is the renewable energy source and the grid will be getting from the normal wind source or else any other type of generating source. The grid is used a commercial purpose. Now the PV cell will be interconnected to the grid. It will improve the power quality in the grid area because the grid will be not give the efficient amount of current for all time. At the same time the PV cell also it will be generate the high amount of voltage for desired application. So that reason here we interconnected the both PV cell and grid. If PV cell will be generated the enough amount of voltage now the grid will be not connected to the circuit. So that reason the power of the grid will be maintained. Suppose the BV cell quality will be reduced or it is not yet to generate the sufficient amount of voltage. Now the grid will be interconnected to the circuit. So that reason the grid consumes the low power for maintaining the voltage of our desired output. Now we go into see the flow of our diagram. It is the flow diagram for our proposed work. In this flow diagram the grid will be converted to the DC current by using this rectifier. Of and same time the PV cell will be going to the switches. In that switches will be used to interconnect the grid output and also the PV cell output. It, it will be desired when the PV cell will be connected to the circuit or when the grid will be interconnected to the circuit. Now after the switches that will be converted to the AC and then the AC output voltage will be getting for final result. First we give the reference voltage and then we get the final voltage from the after the converter. The reference voltage and the final voltage will be helped to identify what is the error. That error will be going to the controller. Then that controller generates the pulse by using the pulse generator. That pulse will be able to control the switches. So the switches will be decided when the grid will be connected to the main circuit and also it will be convert the DC current into the AC current with low harmonic level. So the final result will be cam at very low level or pure sine wave for our application. Now we going to discuss about our model. In our model first use the 3 base AC source. The 3 base AC source acts like a grid and that 3 base AC source will be going to connected to the measurement port. Here we measure the input grid voltage. After the measurement we will connect it to the 3 base inverter source into the rectifier. That rectifier will be connected to the capacitor. The rectifier and the capacitor will be able to convert the AC current into the DC current. And after the capacitor the DC voltage of getting from the grid will be getting measured. And same time the PV cell output will be generated and the PV cell will be connected to the MPPT controller switches and that switches will be able to convert the PV, PV output is a pure DC form and that DC voltage will be also measured for uh, measuring the PV cell output and both will be interconnected by the converter by using the two switches and that switches will be controller based on the controller circuit after the switching circuit, it will be connected to the transformer. The transformer will be able to whether our circuit will be the buck or move side. Now the diodes will be interconnected with the circuit because it will be reduce the reversing current of our process. After the diode, it will be connected to the inductor and the capacitor. After it will be joined to the load. The capacitor will be charging and discharging. It will be used to convert the AC source into the DC source into the AC source. And that resistor will be acting as a load and it will be 
enter the final output voltage of our desired level. Here, the, the capacitors will be used for good. The capacitors will be able to interconnect, interconnect or charging or discharging the current for maintaining the low level harmonic of our output. Now we are going to see about our control circuit. After the voltage measurement, we will get the reference voltage from the output voltage. And then we give the constant voltage or else we will give the reference voltage for identify the error. The output sample and also the reference voltage will be separated and we will get the error. And that error will be sent to the PA controller or PID controller. That PID controller is able to generate the pulses for control the both switches like the PV cell side and also the grid side. And that will be decided when the D when the grid will be connected to the PV cell and when the PV grid will not be connected to the circuit and it will be give the better result for hybrid system and that result will be reduce the harmonic in the AC circuit. The harmonic will be reduced by using the inductor and also the controller because the controller will be checking to the output voltage and also the output frequency. If the frequency range will be high and also the output voltage will be high or low, it will be change the pulsing ducty ratio. In that reason, the harmonic will be reduced and also the output voltage will be maintained and then when the grid will be connected or when the PV cell will be connected or when the grid will be decided to the circuit and it will be find out by using the output voltage and also the PA controller circuit. Thank you.